I'm Naomi from Pine Creek Doodles here today where we are passionate about uh, raising healthy, happy puppies. And we're super excited about Macy and Olaf's litter that was born on the 6th of uh, July. She had uh, 12 puppies, eight girls and four boys. And here they are. Um, I do know we have four reservations on on this litter so um, hopefully you guys out there are watching this and are excited to see um, these new little puppies we are super excited here uh, she seems to be taking great care of her puppies as usual Macy is a great mom she's got plenty of milk so they're all nice and fat and um, happy right now they are a week old and uh, their eyes aren't open yet of course they'll be opening them around two weeks um, so i think if you are uh, looking into adopting a uh, bernadoodle this would be a great litter to look into you can get on our website at pine creek doodles and make a reservation here of course there are four reservations on here so you'd be fifth in line but i think there's plenty of um, great looking puppies here to pick from um, and we would be very happy um, if you would adopt one of our little Bernadoodles. Right, Mace? I think you would. She looked at me like she was going to say, yeah, I think Mom. <laughs> She's down here chilling. Right, Macy? You're chilling. Oh, man, they're talking about me again. So we'll introduce uh, each one of these uh, puppies individually now, um, starting with the girls. And you'll be able to kind of see the color on these little puppies and then also kind of the size. They're mostly around the same size, uh, but if I do pick one up and it feels heavier, I will mention that. Um, they're healthy, happy looking uh, puppies. These are the uh, females. There's eight females. And I believe they're all tricolored. Some of them's got more brown than others, but as you can see, they've got the brown there and up by the eyebrows. Eyes are still closed because they're only a week old. Um, I believe today a week old. There's some brown down there and on the back there. And it seems as they get older, the brown gets a little darker. So that's um, girl number one. Girl number two here also has a white on the head uh, and some brown by the cheeks and right by the eyebrows. A little bit of brown here and back here. And a white tail, of course. Go. girl number two we haven't named them so we'll do girl number one and two here um girl three here does not have as much white on the or no no white on the head at all but some down below um down here and then this one has more brown on the paws here and uh, two little white paws back there no white on well maybe just a tad of white back there so let's not get you guys mixed up who did I do? I think I haven't done you. There we go. They're squirming around. Here's um, girl number four. Quite a bit of white here. My phone's there and brown here. The eyebrows, of course, and then her legs right there. And quite a bit of white on the tail there. Go wake you up, sleepy head. Girl number five here. Oh, it's tired, are you? Got a, quite a bit of white here in the face, and then got the white on the belly. Um, here's something I like to do. I like to do this as a stimulation. Put them on their back, get a hold of all four of their paws, and just kind of do this, and get them to relax. I actually get my two boys to do this on a daily basis, um, and I think it really helps the puppies. Kind of stimulate them in their early stages. They don't get it done every day, but but we do it a couple times a week. Hi, girl. I'm tired. She's back there to take another nap. There's girl number, let me see. We, I think we did five. There's girl number six. There's not quite as much white on this girl either. None on the top of the head, but quite a bit of brown there. And by the eyebrows um, down here and some white on the back toes there and I don't believe there's any on the tail there's the signature brown right back here do this little stimulation thing here this little girl's not liking it you'll get used to it you know it's okay go 
There we go. Okay. Yeah. And now she's nice and relaxed. There's nothing cuter than a puppy on its back with four paws in the in the air. <laughs> Girl number seven. This one's got quite a bit of white up there and down by here. By the back legs here. A little bit of brown there. I'm gonna do this lying on the back thing for you too. Sleep there. And last but not least, girl number eight. Here we go. Just a tiny bit of white by the forehead here, the brown eyebrows, white down here, and then it seems they all have those two white back paws. Yeah, you guys do, don't you? She's got quite a bit of brown on her paws here. And then she's got a little bit of white on her tail. Here we go. Put you right to sleep. Wanna join your sisters? There you go. Oh. We'll of course be doing more updated uh, videos and pictures as they grow. Um, since they're only a week old, their eyes are still closed up. So at around two weeks old, they usually start opening their eyes up and um, you'll see a little bit more of their character and their personalities at that time. And as they grow, you'll get to kind of pick out the more feisty ones and the ones that are more laid back. But it's always exciting to see their progress as they grow older. Here are um, Macy's and Olaf's males. Um, there's four males in the litter here, and two of them have quite a bit of white here, and two don't have a lot of white. So we'll go ahead and introduce you guys with male number one here. This one's pretty big. It's one of the bigger ones. Um, got quite a bit of white on top of the head, and he's got really nice brown markings here. White down here. Quite a bit of white on the tail. Do this little stimulation thing on you too. Yeah. They really like this once they get used to it. Yeah. That's you. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Uh, go back to sleep. Oh, you must have been really tired. How'd they walk off for that? It's meal number two. It's pretty big too, maybe not quite as big as this guy. A little more white up here with the white right here. Quite a bit of white on the tail also. The brown by the legs. Yeah. And do your little stimulation thing also. Uh, yeah. They're looking for some milk. They're nice and fat. Macy has a lot of milk for her puppies. She's nursing 12 puppies. She does get a lot of vitamins and supplements um, to help uh, make sure that she has plenty of milk. Here's boy number four. Not a lot of white. A little bit right down here and right by his chin. The black up here with the brown eyebrows and cheeks here. Brown on his paws and a little bit on the back there with the white. So. Beautiful. There we go. You guys are out, aren't you? Boy number four. He's got a little bit of white on his nose there. This guy has got uh, more white down here than the other boy did. Um, I don't believe, no, there's no white on the tail. Just a tiny bit of white back there. There you go. Do your little stimulation thing for the day. There you go. So, um, these little guys, um, have given us a lot of excitement. Um, Macy is a, a super mom, but she is high maintenance. She she likes to be with her puppies all the time, and she does um, sometimes create me a little bit of stress, but I think it's good stress. 
because she just wants to be such a good mom. She always wants to be in there with the puppies and um, she's a big mama. She's 110 pounds. So I'm always worried about her stepping around the puppies, but she seems to be pretty careful. Don't you, Macers? Y'all, she's my spoiled Macy bear, aren't you? You are. So Olaf is 18 pounds. Um, he lives with my daughter and he is a mini poodle. So Macy is a AKC registered uh, Bernice Mountain Dog. So we'll be doing more update of videos and uh, pictures as they grow. And if you've enjoyed the content of this um, video, like and subscribe below and keep watching for updated videos. Yeah, they're just going. <laughs> I love that sound. When I come to the kennel, sometimes I sneak up here. Oh, I've got six letters in here. I sneak up here, and everything's quiet, and I'll hear this. <laughs> it just sounds so nice. <laughs>